another ban list, another set of undeniable evidence that one ban list will not fix this abomination that is the Yu-Gi-Oh meta. Just look at Apollosa, a card which is potentially 4 negates in one turn and isn't even considered good. Just an extender, they said. Why are cards like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon allowed to exist? Witch's Strike is a- oh my god. Witch's Strike, basically Chaos Emperor Dragons, your opponent's hand and field, and is considered one of the worst cards ever printed because you can barely activate it. To be fair, that's kind of justified. Anyways, if a ban list were to exist, which obviously will happen in December of this year, this is what I would want to see. Will this ban list happen? Absolutely not! But it's nice to keep dreaming. Buster Dragon Destrudo Sword. Sorry, what if I came to your house and said to you, Oi mate, you're not allowed to open the door no more. That would be very rude, now wouldn't it? Now you have a house and you can't even open the door. What would you do? You'd throw me out. Konami, you have a card which basically disallows one core mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban the fucker! Chaos Dragon Levianir. This card is what happened when you're shopping with your dad and you put sweets in the shopping cart and he asks you to put it back. That is cruel! Do you really want Yu-Gi-Oh! players to feel the same way? To shuffle a card back into their deck? No, that's not fair. I mean, most of the cards in my hands are hand traps because combo is just so broken. I play combo deck, by the way. Ban Levianir, what is this? Smoke Grenade of the Thief. Okay, so because I summon Chaos Dragon Levianir and I destroy Smoke Grenade of the Thief, you have four cards to pass my 10 million negates. How does that sound, matey? Wait, what's that you're forfeiting? What, are you, are you pussy or yeah? You're pussy or No, it's just, it's an impossible situation. You can't win. What is this? Ban that. I, I want to play with five cards in my hand, if not six. True King of All Calamities. So I have to destroy a 3000 attack beat stick that can destroy my monsters and I have to do all of that without monster effects. Sure, I mean why the hell not? Yeah, well, what's next? A card that summons a tuner from the deck and it's overpowered? Halkify Brax and Link Cross. Okay, hear me out. We know what they both do, and everyone's like, oh, ban one of them, don't ban the other, etc, etc. How about we ban both of them, and we never have to complain about the Synchro Engine ever again? It's genius! Preda Plant, Verte Anaconda. You guys keep doing this. You guys keep saying, don't ban the Symptom card, ban the cause. <laughs> You're banning... Uh... Get Synchron, ban Halky Fibrax. Well, that's a valid point, but please do it consistently. Look, I, I hate Dragoon as much as the next person. I think Dragoon is a scummy card and I don't even play it myself. But what's stopping Konami making another really broken, archetype specific fusion monster, but it can be cheated out simply because of Predator Plant Verti Anaconda? Or we can ban it and we don't need to worry. And finally, because people are forgetting that a free plus one is not fair, Sky Strike and Mega Engage should still be banned. Cards that should be on one. Miscellaneousaurus and Soul Eating Overaptor. A wise man once said, You always open OV Misk anyway. I swear to God, I think it's rigged. You actually do. It's amazing. I definitely feel that putting both of them on one will help balance dinosaurs just that little bit. You got Misk, which is like, oh, I want to have a really powerful graveyard effect and I want to be a hand trap. As a wise man once said, why not both? And then OV is just basically Stratus on steroids. And remember, Stratus was banned, so I'm actually kind of scared for Soul Eating over Raptor, not gonna lie. Mystic Mine on- wait, what? Mystic Mine is on three? 
I could swear I remember it seeing it on one. Yo, Mandela effect, mate. What is that? Anyway, Mystic Mind, we all know what it does. Just, I could summarize Mystic Mind's effect in one word. No. Pendulum. Oh, God. Look, I know pendulums at one point were really overpowered and could just stomp through every deck, but think about it. Pendulums have been cucked after Master All Revisions, and I don't really see them being very overpowered. Furthermore, you can't really call it a noob deck because good luck knowing what the hell they all do. So, unban Electromite, unban Sorcerer? Thunder Dragon Colossus, like come on, this card was like 70 pounds at one point, how are you gonna do Thunder Dragon players like that? Thunder Dragons weren't super duper overpowered once, Summon Sorceress and Gold Sark were both hit on the ban list, and I don't really see the broken Thunder Dragon era happening again, especially with Thunder Dragon Colossus still banned. Guys, please hear me out for this next one. Graceful Charity at 1, but obviously it has an errata. Listen, I think the only thing that Graceful Charity needs is the same thing as Dark World Dealings, where both players draw 3 cards and discard 2 cards. Therefore, both players will get the advantage that Graceful Charity gives. After all, it's a charity. And if you think it's too overpowered for the user, I would say it's kind of a high risk high reward because you're giving your opponent a plus one which can be a life changing effect. Look even with this Arota Graceful Charity still is a powerful card so what they could do is announce Graceful Charity's Arota and then let the player base play with it online and then hear the player base's feedback before you print it? <laughs> <laughs> Cards that should be on two. Fossil dig on two, exact same reason why OV Misk is on one, just to make dinosaurs a lot less consistent. Salaman Great Gazelle on two. Guys, Salaman Greats deserve something. They made the deck work even when Mirage Stallio got banned, and that was cold. The least that we can give back to Salamangre players is to give them some leeway when they activate Pot of Desires. Come on. Unlimit. Why is Archfiend not back? It's not even good! Oh my life. Like, Infernities are just... You haven't even got a hand half the time. You're pretty much wondering, wow, hopefully I'll draw this card or top deck it. Like, ugh. Why does it justify it being on one after all these years? And besides, Infernities have support now, so let the one person who actually likes playing them in 2020 use that support to its full potential. Graph and Sir. Really? Do you seriously think PK Fire will be really overpowered? Sure, Rusty Bardish is on one, but so is Harpy's Feather Duster, and that pretty much stops anything from that trap heavy bullcrap. ABC has been on one, two, three. Oh my lord. Like, seriously? Like, can you just. Open your eyes and realise that ABC decks are not overpowered after Master Rule Revisions. And if you're so concerned about that spell speed 2 banishing, I just want to say there is a card called Red Eyes Dark Dragoon that is on 3 and is way better. So just put ABC on 3 and shut up. Alrighty, and that's the ban list. Wish list. Will it happen? Like I said, no. If it does happen, will it fix the game? I've already said, no. But everyone loves that honeymoon period when the ban list is released. What did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like, favourite, share, subscribe, and of course, make sure to view.
God, it's been such a long time since I've used my outro. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. If you're still watching, thank you for the additional support. Also, I'm very jealous because you have way too much time on your hands. Thank you.